You got to change the way you look at money. This is not money right here, okay? This is not money. This is just dumbness. This is you not making a decision. This is you being lazy saying, man, a million dollars and I'd be set. Just do the math on a million dollars. I did this when I was 34 years old. A million dollars. If you didn't have any more income and you were, how old are you? 27. 27 years old and you didn't have any income, a million dollars. A million dollars. What does that say right there? Oh, no income. Zero income. You're 27 years old. I'm going to do this at 47. I'm going to do it at, uh, at, at 65. Okay, 27. You don't have any more income. How long would that money last? At $4,000 a month, you got 25 years. Where can you live on $4,000 a month? By the way, $4,000 a month assumes no other income, Social Security system is broken, Medicare is broken, because they are already. It's just a matter of when. Probably going to happen in most of your lifetimes. You'd have to live on $4,000 a month for 25 years. You will be 52 years old, my friend, and dead broke. Four grand a month is what? Thousand bucks a week? You're spending probably $900 a month on groceries. 20, what's your rent? 3,000. You got like 12 years left. And you're a millionaire. Everybody's like, oh my God, the iconic millionaire. You're wealthy. You're not wealthy, dude. You're worried is what you are, okay? Because you don't have new income. So what happens if there's an accident, a major car accident? Are you married? Okay, married kids? Okay, the two kids will cost a million five each to get through college. So you're busted, you understand? So when you come to work in the morning, you're like, man, I need to make 80 grand this year. I need to make 8,000 or 10,000. You guys gotta change your think on money. Like if you wanna make real money, if you're 47 years old, you have until 62 to live. If you're 65 years old, by the way, and anything bad happens, like anything, you lose your job, you lose your income, if there's any inflation, this equation right here doesn't assume any inflation, it assumes everything stays the same and his rent never goes up, his car payments don't go up, nothing goes up. It's impossible. It's an impossible cycle. The problem is nobody talks about this because nobody wants to go on TV and say, hey, millionaires are basically middle class people that are worried about money. So when I did the math at 33 years old, I'm like, dude, I need a lot of money. This is where the whole 10x concept comes up from, all right? Yeah. Hey, man, what if, what if it took 10 million? By the way, I think that's the number. CNBC says it's 5 million. I think the number's really 10 million, okay? 10 million with no new income, you could probably live the life you wanted to. So how would you get that if that's the number? Because this is clearly not the number. Everybody agree with that? Yes. yes. By the way, if you make 40 grand a year for the next 25 years, you're going to make a million dollars anyway. You're going to make the money. If you make $80,000 a year, every time you double this, you cut the years. It takes 12 and a half years. If you make $160,000 a year, it takes you six years, right? Or you could just go make a million bucks in a year. So you got to do the math. If you hadn't done the math, if you're going for the wrong target, I'm always talking about targets in here. Do you, you and the husband, you and the wife need to get the target right. We're talking about, oh, man, I love this new car. You, 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 I'm going to go buy a new car, like Cislo. I'm going to go buy, I'm going to get a new car. Dude, your attention needs to be on this. This is the target. It's not the watch, it's not the car, and it's not the vacation. It's freedom. 67% of wealthy people surveyed said they weren't going for wealth for cars and boats and trips. They were going for the freedom of worry. To not be concerned about money every day. I want to be concerned about my kids. I want to be concerned about, you know, what we do when, we're, when we have time together. I want to be concerned about how happy I am in my marriage. I don't want to be worried about pieces of paper that I don't have enough of or where it's going or what things cost. That's why you're making these phone calls, okay? So now what's the target? Because if you're just in here making phone calls saying, hey, I'm going to make, I'm going to make a call, I'm going to make a close. All you're going to do is get me rich. I'm already rich, okay? And I, and, and I started with zero, just so you guys know. I didn't have anything. So when you're sitting there on the phone thinking, how am I going to get to there? You can, but you need to stay focused, okay? <laughs> so number one thing you got to do is this. you got to change the target, and you need to look at the target daily. The target, you have the wrong target right now. If you're struggling, you have the wrong target. When you change the target, everything changes, Right? So that when I'm talking to a guy, dude, you're contributing to my 10 million. Every person I've ever sold, I treated like an investor. This guy is going to invest in my future. He's going to pay for my college. He's going to buy my shoes. 
Every time I'm on the phone, somebody's paying for my shit, right? So if I want to go on a trip, I want to go tr on a trip and I want to stay in a house that costs 25 grand a night. I didn't pay for that, man. Hey, what's up, Tony? This is just other people paid for that. That's other people's money. So you don't need to wait to be a bank to get other people's money, right? The money that I put in real estate, that is other people's money I'm putting in real estate. People, I had a guy yesterday say, man, how can you put 60 million in a deal? Dude, it ain't mine. It's like, what do you mean? You raising all? No, no, dude. I went and sold stuff. People gave me money and I put it in the real estate, which is part of this equation. Number one, the target. Number two, you need to get your income to a place. This is a fascinating concept right here. Okay, if you can do this, I guarantee you'll be rich. You need to get your income not to what pays your bills, but to where you can save 40% of your gross income is saved. This is way more difficult than that. If you can do this, you will get that. If you make $10,000 a month and you want to save 40000 of it, you would pay yourself first. The government doesn't let you do that. They don't trust you. They're like, no, no, get that money from him first before he blows it. We know he's going to blow it. You know the IRS is going to take, they're going to withhold probably 4000 of it. So look, if you'll pay the freaking IRS four grand of 10, you need to figure out how to pay yourself four grand. What's the problem here? You got to live on two. So just keep doing the math out. This is the math you need to do with your spouse. You need to keep working it out until you're like, he's like, let's go buy a new car. Yet yeah, we ain't got any money for a new car. That's why when I was 35 years old, no one knew that I was a millionaire. Nothing had changed. I was still running with shit shoes, you know, buying $40 shoes and working a shirt out as long as I could. And like, nobody saw, I didn't have fancy cars. I'm driving a Camry with a million bucks in a bank. Because because I was using this, okay? I pay the IRS. I've always paid those bastards. And then what I did was I'm like I'm a bank four grand. And then I realized, dude, I can't live on I can't live on two. It's make it's making my life hard to do this. This money, by the way, a better a better word for saving is storage. I was storing storing money, not saving money. I'm storing it. I'm stockpiling. If you like that word better, you don't want to save money. Money is only good if you use it. How, how many heard this term? Cash is? King. Yeah. It's worthless. Cash is worthless. It's not a king. It's no king, dude. Like, like cash is not king. Cash is shit. It just sits there and dies. Or you lose it. If you, if you leave money in this storage account too long, I guarantee you it will disappear. It always has in your life. If you look back over your life, the longer this money sits in storage... Uh, Pablo Escobar, but you don't want to you don't want to leave it in storage too long because it's going to zero. All cash goes to zero. All right. So now, now when you do this math, you're like, dude, how much money do I actually need? Let's kick this up to twenty grand. At twenty grand, what happens? You're saving eight storage. You're paying eight, and now you can live on four. See, now this is the right way to do a budget. You make thirty thousand. 12's going to storage, 12's going to the IR and the S, and that leaves you with six. So now you can start seeing that you got to be somewhere north of 300 grand a year. This is what they don't teach you at Harvard. You got to be somewhere north of 360 a year before you even have money to live on, unless you're just, you know, you're a trek. You're just an irresponsible human being that, that's not putting storing money away for the future. Okay. Now you're saving 12 grand a month. That's $144,000 in one year. In 10 years, that's $1.4 million. In 10 years, you're a millionaire. Becoming a millionaire is a dream for many, but it requires discipline, hard work, and strategic thinking. Greg Cardone, a renowned entrepreneur and real estate investor, has shared valuable insights on how to achieve this milestone. Here are five keys principles to help you on your journey to becoming a millionaire. Number one, set clear goals. Define specific, achievable, and time-bound goals. Create a roadmap with actionable steps and stay committed to them. Avoid distractions and maintain a laser-sharp focus on your objectives. Hashtag two, embrace massive action. Cardone emphasizes taking massive action as the key to success. Instead of just doing enough to get by, go above and beyond in everything you do. Be proactive 
seize opportunities, and never settle for mediocrity. Number three, invest wisely. Save money to invest in income-generating assets. Leverage your resources to build wealth through real estate, stocks, or starting a business. Diversify your investments to minimize risks and maximize returns. Number four, develop a growth mindset. Cultivate a mindset that sees challenges as opportunities for growth. Continuously learn, adapt, and evolve. Surround yourself with successful and like-minded individuals who inspire and motivate you to achieve more. Take ownership of your finances. Be responsible for your financial situation and avoid debt that doesn't lead to wealth-building opportunities. Monitor your spending, prioritize investments, and live below your means to accumulate wealth. In conclusion, becoming a millionaire requires dedication, persistence, and a willingness to step outside your comfort zone. By following these principles laid out by Grant Cardone, you can set yourself on the path to financial success and achieve your millionaire dreams. Remember, it's not an overnight process, but with the right mindset and actions, you can turn your aspirations into reality. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more valuable contents. Thanks for watching.